Welcome to another edition of Just Ball. Um, I'm here with uh, PGC president and owner Manu Watsa, and uh, he agreed to uh, kind of come in and give us a, a brief breakdown of what PGC is all about. Uh, we really like PGC and what they teach, how they approach the game. So I'm just going to let him kind of give you sort of a history of PGC uh, so that you get a little more uh, knowledge of, of what they're about. Sure. Well, PGC, uh, Matt, uh, first of all, appreciate being on the, on the show uh, Absolutely. with you. And uh, um, I'm a fan of what you do at Pro Shot and couldn't be more thrilled to be here uh, with you talking hoops today. Pleasure to have you. So a little bit about PGC. Uh, uh, PG, I attended PGC as an athlete, mm -hmm. and for those of you uh, who aren't, those who aren't familiar with, uh, with PGC and what we do, I'll give you a, a little summary and for your, your viewers, but uh, PGC was started by Dick DiVenzio, mm -hmm. a point guard who played at Duke and taught the game around the world, and PGC basketball was originally point guard college, and it was specifically focused on how to teach players how to think the game how to, how to be leaders and how to be playmakers. Now, mm -hmm. over the last several years, we, uh, we shifted from point guard college being specific just to uh, those who play the point guard position or more specifically, those who wanna have the mindset and the approach of a point guard because really any player can be a point guard sure. um, if they have that the, the right mindset and the right approach to the game. But uh, we, we shifted to PGC basketball and we've created courses for players of all positions from our shooting college, post player college, our essentials course, which is for players of all positions, our prep school, which is for seventh to 10th graders. And so all of the, the summer courses are five day, four night courses that we put on are for our middle school, junior high, uh, high school, and college players, and even occasionally a pro player. And, uh, and we put on transformational experiences. We like to think of sure. our programs or our courses being game changers for players. So you really like to start around middle school age? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you guys focus a lot, I know you focus a lot on the mental side of things you're talking about. And um, in, our, in our articles that we've done in the summer and even in the spring, we put, um, I think, a little more heavy emphasis on, hey, Let's look at the mental side of this. Let's look at that because there's such a huge mental side to shooting instruction that yeah. we give. Um, and, and we really, you know, kind of caught on to how you guys approach PGC as a mental thing mm -hmm. and how you really train the athletes not just to go out and here's a drill I want you to do, go do it. It's think your way through it and, and focus more on the, the you know, what's the defense going to be doing? How can you – how can you better yourself mentally and prepare yourself for a game situation as far as, you know, just going out and working on skills and being a robot, yeah. which I think a lot, a lot of kids nowadays have because they're just, they're so drill after drill after drill and they never yeah. sit back and really think about it. Um, go over some core beliefs sure. that kind of led you guys to really focus more on the mental side of things than the physical side. Sure. Well, let, let me just tell you, Matt, when I attended Point Guard College, uh, I knew I needed to get there as soon as I saw Point Guard College, and I thought somewhere where I can <laughs> go and learn and be a student, a student yeah. of basketball. Sure. Not just a not just someone who played the game, but sure. to to really be a student of the game. And so I was going into my senior year in high school when uh, when I flew down to South Carolina. He was running programs right across the nation, and we've continued to run them now 30, 35 different states that and plus Canada that we offer our courses in. But when I flew down to South Carolina. Um, I knew I needed, I was always the smallest player on every team I ever played on, mm -hmm. you know, five, five foot uh, ten in my senior year in high school, and I knew I was going to have to find an edge, something that was going to give me an advantage over other players. Sure. And I was pretty quick, decent athleticism, uh, pretty good skills, but I knew a separator would be if if I could think the game, if I could be a student of the game, and in a sense outsmart my opponents or sure. those that I might be competing with for, mm -hmm. for a spot at the next level. And so when I, when I attended PGC, it, it, uh, it gave me that edge. And so we've really attempted to build on the core beliefs that Dick DiVenzio um, held to, and our, our goal has been to continue on the legacy that he left. He suddenly passed away at age 51 back sure. in 2000 and, uh, 2001, and, uh, and we've continued to continued on his legacy of teaching players how to play smart basketball and how to be students of the game and how to, 
uh, how to influence, positively influence their, their teammates and ultimately the culture of their program that they're in. So those are the types of things that, uh, that I learned. In terms of core beliefs, uh, we believe that every athlete deserves to have, every, and I say athlete because even beyond basketball, sure. every, every participant in a, in a sport deserves to have a, a rewarding experience, a fulfilling, life-giving experience. That's why we all got into, involved in, Absolutely. In, in any activity, and for most of us, basketball. To have fun, to learn, to grow, to pursue excellence, um, to specifically in basketball as a team sport, to bond together as a team, to work to get towards a common goal. Mm -hmm. And so what, uh, what we believe about the game is that the game at its best and when taught well helps players and helps coaches mm -hmm. experience a great deal of fulfillment. And, uh, and we believe that every player deserves to have a rewarding, fulfilling, life-giving experience in the game. And so what we, what we attempt to do at our PGC sessions and what Dick did so well and we've attempt, attempted to continue that on is help players rediscover why they fell in love with the game in the first place. Sure. Because you know there's a lot of things that can steal a player of their yeah. love for the game from difficult teammates to <laughs> coaches sure. and, and all the other things and d parents with expectations or all sorts of things that can cause a player to get discouraged or disgruntled mm -hmm. um, or, or somewhat dejected and, and want to give up on the game. And we bring players back to what they love about the game. And, and then we help them to fall in love with the pursuit of excellence. And, uh, and so th those, are, those are one or two things that, uh, um, that we believe every player should, should be introduced to. And what we find is when we give them a vision of who they can be as a player and the impact that they can have, uh, we, we find the vast majority of players want to be that type of special player that sure. can influence others and, and that can... Um, pursue excellence and, and be a leader in their program.